Hey guys, I'm Elliot, this is Everything Elliot, and today we're gonna see what it's like to offer a mobile wood splitting service. So you can see I've got the Easton made 2228 with attached conveyor hooked up to the truck. But before we leave, I wanna show you what it takes to get this thing hooked up. So we're heading over to a guy's house that lives about 45 minutes away from me. He's got a pile of firewood rounds there and uh, we're gonna go over there for about four hours or so, see how much firewood we can split. And uh, I don't know, I'm gonna try to figure out like what I would charge to bring the Easton mate over somebody's house and offer this service. All right guys, well we made it over to Ed's house. Ed's here and his father, who's also named Ed. We got Ed and Ed Squared. And you guys can see we got this big pile of rounds here. So uh, they're actually helping today. They wanted to use the Easton made. They want to try it out. So I have a feeling that they're gonna be doing most of the work, which is nice. Should have brought some pina coladas with me, but I didn't. Maybe a strawberry daiquiri or two. We got the grizzly bars set up and uh, we're going on to some pallets today. Things are going well so far. Taught them both how to use it and we got a mountain of firewood to get through. I got about four hours. We're gonna see, uh, see how much of this we can get done. I don't know if we'll get the whole pile, but I'll tell you what, we're gonna get a good chunk of it.
So this is what we've got so far after an hour and a half. Quite a bit of firewood there, that's for sure. I'd venture a guess, probably about 10 face cord. Alright guys, well we've got about 10-15 minutes left and we've created quite a pile here. I'd say, I don't know, 15-ish face cord. It's tough, but it's 6 feet tall by at least, at least 10 feet wide. So, and it's, I don't know, 20 feet long. So, quite a bit of firewood there, there's no doubt about that. So we're just gonna finish up a couple more logs and then uh, I'm gonna pack up and head home. And I guess when we get home, we'll discuss what we did today and, and everything like that. Uh, i kinda in a rush because I gotta get the baby and we gotta eat dinner and balancing family and work. Alright guys, well we made it home and I had to get in the shower because boy oh boy, it was a hot one out there today. Uh, like I said, mobile log splitting service, I don't know. I don't know if somebody would want to pay what I'd want to charge to come over there and do something like this. I'm, you know, I'd, I'd have to be somewhere around probably the $100 an hour range to make it worth my time. And we split... I'm going to roughly guess somewhere between 15 and 20 face cord in three hours. So he would have got charged $300. I don't know what's somebody paying for a face cord these days. Probably around $100. So maybe $1,500 worth of firewood. He had to cut it. So there's time invested there. I guess it would be for the right person. And I guess it's not something that I would probably want to do all the time but for the right person, it might be worth their while. Like he said, it would take him three days to split that amount of wood. So a $300 investment to save him two and a half days worth of work might be worth it. I don't know, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Would you pay for something like this? Now, you know, if you have a big machine, yeah, you probably wouldn't, but if you're gonna save two and a half days of work, would you pay 300 bucks? Maybe I charge a little less if you're there to help. 
maybe $75 an hour. If you're there, you know, loading rounds and stuff and I'm just pulling, pulling levers, I don't know. I'm relying on you guys. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. What would you pay per hour to have this machine at your house with an operator? I would never, never rent this machine out without me going to it. It's just too much of an investment. And, and things can happen so quickly. Somebody can get injured so quickly. So it's, yeah, I would never rent it out alone. I'd have to come with it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Oh, and by the way, Ed, the younger Ed, uh, he has a YouTube channel, American Country 716, and he posted his version of this video uh, on his channel, a little bit different perspective. So I'll leave a link down in the description for you guys to go check his channel out. Do me that favor, check his channel out. Let me know what you think of his channel. He does, uh, he's got a big farm. I think they're on about 100 acres there, so he's got a lot of farming stuff, uh, log splitting as well, but uh, he's got a lot of farm stuff, which is kind of cool. You saw his cows in the beginning of the video. I think that's about it. So yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if this is your first time here. I hope you enjoyed and if you're a returning viewer, thanks for coming back. Until the next video, hope you guys have a great day.